Hello, I'm Bruce McMakin with PBA Galleries in San Francisco, auctioneers of rare books, manuscripts, photographs, maps, and related materials. We have here three of the most important of all works on the exploration of the Pacific Ocean. The official accounts of James Cook's three voyages of discovery to the then mysterious Great South Sea. Uh, though there are many other significant accounts of exploration in the Pacific, such as the voyages of William Dampier, George Anson, Jean-Francois de La Perouse, and George Vancouver, the Cook voyages stand above them all. Their popularity was immense, and the descriptions of the peoples and islands of the distant ocean resonated throughout Europe. The fine engravings which graced the pages provided the first pictures of many of the places visited, and the numerous charts, for which Cook was justifiably famous as a surveyor, were of unparalleled accuracy. This first voyage, over here in three volumes, published in 1773, is the second edition, virtually identical to the first, which was sold out almost immediately due to great antici anticipation of the public. The primary purpose of the expedition was to observe the transit of Venus, a per an, an important astronomical phenomenon from the island of Tahiti. On the way, Cook explored New Zealand and the east coast of Australia. Though much appreciated by the public, Cook himself was disappointed with the publication. It was edited by John Hawksworth from journals by Cook and others on the voyage, and Cook had left on his second expedition before it went to press. He vowed to take a more prominent role in future publications, and we expect the set to sell for between $4,000 and $6,000. On his second voyage of discovery to the Pacific Ocean, it's at least about two volumes uh, are the account of, James Cook's primary mission was to locate and chart the Great Antarctic Continent, or Terra Australis. His success was in proving that the supposed Great Southern Landmass did not exist, and in exploring numerous islands and island groups of the South Pacific. He wrote his, this, this official account of the expedition himself and planned the publication with over 60 copper plate engravings of views and charts. He departed on his third voyage uh, from which he never returned before the book was printed, so he never saw the finished product. The present example is a large, untrimmed copy in an early binding with crisp impressions of the plates. It is estimated at $6,000 to $9,000. Cook's third voyage, which we have here, uh, was to the Northern Pacific in search of a northwest passage between Europe and Asia. Along the way, he discovered the Sandwich Islands, now the Hawaiian archipelago. His reception by the natives was at first quite friendly, and his description of the islands and their people made this arguably the single most important book on the Hawaiian Islands. After he departed to conduct further explorations, however, he returned for a second visit and overstayed his welcome. Quarrels soon broke out between the Europeans and Hawaiians, and on February 14, 1779, James Cook was killed by natives along with four of his men. The account of the expedition from the journals of Cook and his commanders is perhaps the greatest of the three works, not the least because of the magnificent folio atlas uh, with two folding charts and 61 magnificent copper engraved plates, 12 of which relate to Hawaii, most from drawings by the artist John Weber. The three volumes and atlas should sell for between $10,000 and $15,000. These three seminal voyages will be sold at auction on May 30th, 2013, in PBA Galleries, sale 507 South Sea, the Library of Richard Topel, Part 2. The catalog is posted on our website, and printed catalogs may be ordered from the galleries. Thank you.